Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and uh, I'm ready, after some use and testing and carrying of this knife, to finally give you guys my full review on it. Uh, this is the Benchmade Crooked River, full size, and uh, I want to thank again my buddy Kyle. He's uh, DTOM Knives and Gear here on YouTube. If you aren't subscribed to him already, definitely check the guy out. He mo makes really awesome knife content and uh, some other odds and ends of gear as well. Just a super nice guy. I really like um, just the presence he is in the community and what a nice person he is. And uh, I like his thoughts and the way that he looks at gear and um, his opinions I think are, are meaningful. And uh, yeah, just a really good guy who's making content that if you like mine, <laughs> you're going to like his. So that being said, thanks again, Kyle. Um, this is of course the full size crooked river and that uh i didn't know <laughs> before having this knife in hand how full size full size really meant for this knife um from what i understand the mini crooked river is still like three and a half inch blade it's like pm2 size knife which if that tells you anything about how big this is it's significantly bigger than that so this i think has about a four inch blade and uh it is just huge. <laughs> um, way bigger than I was expecting it to be. Even though I knew it was a big knife, it's one of those things that once I got it in my hand, um, it was just even bigger than I expected. That's what she said. Now, we're rocking an S30V blade steel here. It's a pretty thick stock. Um, this knife feels outdoorsy to me. Um, it's certainly not like the thinnest, sliciest little EDC knife. It's not trying to be. Um, it's got this really nice clip point, um, kind of a buoy shape there. It's got a nice saber flat grind, and uh, it actually gets pretty thin behind the edge, thinner than I expected it to. Um, and it's pretty thin all the way out to the tip. If you watched my testing video, uh, you'll have seen I did a little bit of chopping with this. I put it like push cut through some fresh sticks and all kinds of stuff like that. I've also just been finding opportunities to use this knife um, regularly. I've had it in pocket quite a few times, um, at least probably four whole like full days of carrying it as my primary front right pocket the knife that i pull out to do just about anything i really wanted to get a sense of what this knife was all about um yeah the blade does really well i i've been very impressed with how good of a slicer this knife is for its size um because most of the knives that i own or have used that are in this size bracket um are not focused on being very slicey and uh, this just actually really does well for EDC tasks. I think if I had like extra large glove size hands instead of like medium glove size hands, I would adore a knife like this for a, like actual EDC knife. Because if you've got huge hands and this is like proportionate to your hand, this is a fantastic setup. Um, we've got steel liners, which have been, um, they've got significant milling in internally. so reduces the weight a little bit. We've obviously got this wood here on both sides. I don't know what kind of wood it is, frankly. Um, I'm sure you could figure that out by looking on Benchmade's website. And then I'm almost positive these bolsters are titanium. Um, again, I haven't really... <laughs> I'm not the, the spec guy, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, but we've got these really cool uh, pivot collars and this bright orange to, max, uh, to match the bright orange backspacer. Uh, before I finish, I'm going to put the knife right in front of the camera so you can see all of these details up close. But um, the first thing that I thought when I really took this knife out of the box um, and felt it in hand was how high quality it feels. Um, Benchmade certainly makes a lot of really great products. Um, they also make some that I'm not crazy about, but this one feels classier than most of the Benchmades I've held. I think part of it is the material selection, but also it's just kind of the smoothness, the fit and finish. Um, Kyle uses and carries this knife, so it's already been broken in before I got it. So there was, there was just no stiffness at all. Everything feels really well dialed. This axis lock feels nice and solid. Um, I like that it's riding on the titanium bolsters. Maybe that's part of it is like where my finger lands feels nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, it just feels great. I really, really like it. Um, one other thing that I love is that technically there's only two spots of jimping on this knife. And one of them I struggle to even call jimping. The first one is the backspacer, which it's so wide and like these, these 
gaps in the jimping, if you want to call them that, the teeth on the jimping are, are it, it's not like actual jimping. It's not rough at all. It just feels like texture, which I like. I, I think it's a good spot to land. Makes the where the knife lands in my palm feel like I, I can sense where it is and that it's there and it doesn't feel like it's moving, but it's not painful at all. And the only other jimping is on the liners inside of these um, bolsters up here. And they don't even, the jimping doesn't even protrude past the bolsters. So it's like, if I run my hand flush across this, I'm not really touching the jimping. It's just when I press my thumb down here and then even then, when I'm pressing my thumb into it, it's soft, like curved jimping. It's not sharp teeth, the corners are rounded. Um, so it's a good traction point without being aggressive. And if you've watched my, my Contigo review, you'll see that sometimes I think jimping can go way too far uh, at Benchmade. So this is definitely a, a much better setup in terms of the way that they've shaped this knife and the way that they've finished it so that it makes sense in hand. It feels kind of old timey. It's kind of like if you mixed a modern nice bench made with like an old buck 110 having these wooden components, geez, these bugs, having these wooden components on the handle. Um, and then, yeah, just the, it feels not heavy, but it feels substantial and solid in hand. Uh, this is by no means a lightweight knife. It's not trying to be lightweight, but for its size, I feel like the weight is kind of just right. This knife should feel, um, present in my hand. I should be able to tell that it's really there. Um, so take that for what it's worth. But um, overall, I really have been impressed with this knife. At the end of the day, my conclusion is kind of this. Um, I want the mini version. <laughs> for my hands, this just is too much knife. It's too big for what I really need it to be. Um, even for like a big outdoor folder, just because the ergos feel like they're built for hands bigger than mine. If these ergos were a little more neutral, if I didn't have this kind of hump here, um, and it was just straight across, I'd probably want to keep this knife exactly how it is and get one for myself. Um, but because this kind of finger groove here just gives my finger too much room to move around, I, uh, it, it doesn't quite click for me. Um, but that's not something I can really hold against the ergos other than to say like, they're definitely not built for my hand. <laughs> um, so I'm intrigued to try the mini sooner rather than later, hopefully, and see if that f just fits my hand better. I imagine it will. Um, and if it does, then it's a bench made that I probably will love and want to own and keep because I really, really like the way this has all come together. And I've seen quite a few people who um, have spoken really highly of this model from Benchmade for years now. And I just never, never tried one um, because it wasn't, I don't know, I just didn't feel that drawn to it. I was curious about it, but um, I don't just like buy anything and everything. I, I try to be somewhat choosy about what I buy and when I buy. And uh, this one just evaded me. But now that I've experienced it i really really like it and uh yeah i've been impressed with how well it's ground how well everything comes together um the sensation of quality is is probably the the shining feature to me so um let me go ahead and flip the camera around i feel like i should show you guys some of the details of this knife i think that's really where it shines um but it's been an insightful kind of journey <laughs> of trying this one out i really appreciate opportunities like this um to kind of try before i buy to test drive these knives especially when it's from someone like kyle who's sending me a user that i can actually use as well um and i'm probably going to be doing that every now and then with uh knives that belong to friends of mine just enjoying them for about a week and kind of feeling them out and so hopefully you guys enjoy me doing these little experiments as well but um this one definitely passes my snuff test i uh i like it quite a bit and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and then i'll finish up with this right in front of your eyes all right so as you can see the uh the details really kind of are where this knife shines um i like the fit and finish the way that the titanium meets the wood on the bolsters i like how it's matched up i like that they didn't try <laughs> to make it a perfectly seamless transition instead kind of um there's like a chamfer on each of the edges of this material um 
gosh, I'm, I'm getting eaten alive out here by these bugs. Um, but yeah, so you can, there's kind of a defined, I, it's not like a material gap, but you, if you can see the, the way they've chamfered that in, I think that's a smart move instead of trying to make it like, like these are the same material and it's just like a perfectly like no gap kind of transition there. Um, from a production standpoint, I imagine that's a little easier for them to nail consistently. Um, but yeah, the finishing on the titanium looks good and I found it's really resilient. Not that I've really done anything that should have like given this snail trails or anything like that, but I've had it in pocket quite a bit. And uh, so I've, it's, it's been a relief that when I've pulled this knife out of pocket, I haven't found any, uh, any Mars or scuffs or anything. Um, so this material seems to do well. Same thing with the wood. Um, wood is obviously a natural material. It's probably a little more forgiving um, than other materials, but it feels great and it looks great and it, uh, yeah, just, it works well. Um, this is not my favorite Benchmade clip, but it's kind of their standard clip. And uh, I think unless you get one of their models that's a little more like focused on deep carry and EDC, um, then this is the clip that you get. If you do get, uh, if, if you contact Benchmade <laughs> having this knife and ask them for a deep carry clip, they will just send it to you. So that's pretty cool of them as well that um, you could swap this super easily and it's their, their typical hole pattern. So um, if I were to own this knife, I don't know on the big one if I would feel the need to change it to a, a deep carry clip, but certainly if I got the mini, I would, I would then want to change it to a mini deep carry clip. Um, yeah, so this backspacer, like I mentioned, I don't, I don't even know if you would technically call that jimping. It's more just like a geared pattern, I would say. Um, but it feels good. It's nice and smooth. Um, I like that it protrudes just the littlest bit to give you kind of an index point, like above the, the edges of these scales. Um, but it's not so much that it's in the way or cumbersome or anything like that. They've done the lanyard hole just right here, as you can see. Um, I, I like <laughs> that the lanyard hole is just out of the way. And it's kind of an oval, which I think looks cool. Um, but yeah, it's not uh, it's not getting in the way of pocket clip, clip placement. Spider Co could take some notes on that, and uh, it just it works really well. Um, this blade is awesome. <laughs> um, it's S thirty V. So would I like it better if it was a really cool steel? Sure, um, but that's why the custom shop exists and this model is part of that program from Benchmade so if you wanted to hand pick out your blade steel the color of your bolster your handle material the pocket clip the color of your backspacer the color of your pivot rings the color of your hardware you could do all of that exactly to your specification and you could get it in S90V or M4 or I don't know if there's anything else but um, I think you can do Dama steel even on this one Anyways, and this is, uh, I've seen a few in photos that people have kind of dressed up and uh, done custom shop versions on, and they look fantastic. Uh, this is a really cool kind of template because you've got some dimension here with um, multiple materials and patterns. And anyways, um, yeah, the blade for being S30V, which I can't really hold against it. S30V is a, a good steel. I do like S30V and I don't really have complaints about it. It's not like S30V is below me, not even close. Um, but I do, I'd be lying if I didn't say I get way more excited when a knife has a cooler steel on it. So if this was M4, I'd be way more stoked. That's just the reality. If that bothers you, then I don't care. That's the way I feel. So, um, yeah, the blade shape I think is fantastic. I love clip points. I love buoys, um, buoys, bowies, you say it however you want, David Bowie. Um, yeah, I think it looks great. The edge is awesome on here. I don't know if Kyle has sharpened this before. If he has, he did a great job, um, but it feels much like a Benchmade factory edge to me. Um, so I don't know, but it's, uh, it's done great. I haven't like really beat on this knife, but I've tested it and I've used it and I've had no deformations, no rolling, no chipping. Not that I should have with the materials I used. Um, but I do think it's worth saying that I had no issues. So yeah, I, uh, I really do like and appreciate this knife. I think this is, it feels very bench made. <laughs> um, like I think bench made should do more stuff like this. And uh, I think they do well for it, especially with their audience. Benchmade is big with like the hunting crowd. And uh, if you're a hunter and you own a Benchmade fixed blade that is your go-to hunting knife and you're a big dude who has large hands, like this would be a great EDC folder that feels 
true to like that kind of heritage, I think. And uh, I'm not a hunter, <laughs> not not into that. Um, although I, I very well could be, I think, if I didn't live in LA. Anyways, that's a, a separate conversation. But I still enjoy that that scene and that kind of motif and the way it ex is expressed on certain pieces of gear. And I think this feels very, very kind of hunterish with the hunter safety orange and the grandpa's wooden scales. And you know, it's like a it's like a dressed up modern kind of old hunting knife, which is a weird way to put it, but I, I hope makes sense. Anyways, um, this knife is really cool. I think I'm done rambling about it, but if you haven't seen my other videos on it, feel free to watch those and uh, check out the testing I did and all that. Thanks again to Kyle. I really do appreciate him sending this along for me to check out. I had a lot of fun with it, and uh, yeah, this will be that.